Today, I'm on a farm in Shangshui. Let's see what this is like. Mr. Fullerman, my form teacher, makes the whole class stand outside our room. He says, Welcome back, Class 5F. I've got a big surprise for you all, which is not good news. Oh no! He's rearranged all the desks. I'm now sitting at the front of the class. Worse still, Marcus Moni Meldrew is next to me. This is a disaster. How am I going to draw my pictures and read my comics? Sitting at the back of the class, I could avoid the teacher's glares. I'm so close to Mr. Fullerman now, I can see up his nose. It's the brilliant world of Tom Gates. The Brilliant World of Tom Gates is a graphic novel by Liz P... 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 Chom? P... P... Right. Why is it that every single author that I talk about these days has got a difficult name? <sighs> right, hang on. My name's Liz Pichon and I'm the author and the illustrator of a series of books about a character called Tom Gates. Pichon, Pichon. Okay, here we go. We'll start again. The Brilliant World of Tom Gates is a graphic novel by Liz Pichon, published by Scholastic in 2011. Tom Gates is a Year 5 primary school student in England, which means he is 9 or 10 years old. Every day he doodles in his exercise books. Doodles, verb, to draw lines or shapes when you are bored, or thinking about something else. Uh, yeah. So every day he doodles in his exercise books, and that's what you read. He also bugs his sister Delia, has fun with his best friend Derek, and tries not to get into trouble with his teacher, Mr. Fullerman. One day he finds that there is a Dude 3 concert coming to his town and he invites his crush, Amy Porter, to join him. What will happen when Amy Porter finds out that annoying Marcus Meldrew has got VIP tickets to the same show? So I really like the Tom Gates books. I think I might actually like them more than the Wimpy Kid books. They feel hmm, a bit more realistic. I think Tom is basically a nicer person than um, Greg from the Wimpy Kid books. Certainly he's a lot nicer to his friends. And if I have to be honest, I think that the Wimpy Kid books are like 25% um, for grown-ups and 75% for children. So I think there are a lot of things in the Wimpy Kid books that grown-ups might understand that young people won't or won't appreciate. And I don't know, the jokes are a little bit more difficult to understand and sometimes take a bit longer to tell and sometimes aren't quite so clear. So I think this is one, there's no hidden meanings. There's nothing for the grown-ups to laugh about. It's just a good book, fun, interesting, and there are loads more. So here's my review. And if that's not bad enough, 
Marcus Meldrew is the most annoying boy in the whole school. He is so nosy and thinks he knows everything. Marcus Meldrew is already annoying me. He is looking over my shoulder while I'm writing this. He is still looking. Still looking. Yes, Marcus, I'm writing about you. Marcus Meldrew has a face like a mouse. Marcus Meldrew has a face like a moose. Moosey Marcus. He stopped looking now. But on the other side of me, the good news is I am now sitting next to Amy Porter, who is very smart and nice, even though she didn't seem thrilled to see me this morning. Brilliant! At least I can have a sneaky look over her shoulder for a few right answers. I think she's looking at me now. Amy Porter is very nice. Amy Porter is smart. She's not looking. She's ignoring me, I think. So, might as well stop writing nice things now and draw a doodle instead. Marcus getting squished by a big monster. This cheers me up. Then... Mr. Fullerman says, As you can see, I've changed a few things around. Don't I know it? Then he begins to take the register. Usually I would take this opportunity to draw a few cool pictures, or take out my comic book for a quick read. But I'm so close to Mr. Fullerman and his beady eyes that I have to wait until he finishes and walks to the back of the class before I can get doodling in my book. Okay, He's gone now. I'm thinking of names to call my band that Derek and I are in. We're not very good yet, but if I can think of a really good name, that will make us seem extra cool. How about alien twins? Foot fighters? I know. Dog zombies. The brilliant world of Tom Gates is pretty easy to read. If you like reading diaries, or, well, doodling, I recommend it to you. Some things about living in England might be unfamiliar to you, but these are not common. There are loads of other Tom Gates books to read, and they are all nice and long like this one. Mr. O approves of Tom Gates. Tom Gates.